it's your boy Ricky here with Romero Cards and today I am here to show you the release of Picket Fence Studios. This is one, this is their latest release that I'm going to be showing you. There's a variety of different things. This is a non-holiday uh, release because pretty much we're too late for holidays, right? So um, I think this is a really good release. I'm excited to show you guys uh, just a few things before we go. All the links to the um, all the links to the products will be listed below. So if you see anything you like, just click that link and head over to Pick Fence Studios. It is an affiliate link, so you will uh, let them know that I sent you over there, and then I'll get a small commission for you shopping at no charge for you. Secondly, if you get to the end of this video and you really like it, give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. I want to show up in the algorithms because, well, the algorithms. I I don't know how they work, but apparently that's how it works. <laughs> Uh, let's see, click the bell so that you know a new video comes out when I uh, release it. And then also share the love. If there's someone that you think would love this video, then go ahead and get that shared out to them and I would greatly appreciate it. And then let's leave some comments down below. Uh, in today's comment, let me know the thing that you like the most from this release. All right, so let's go ahead and get started looking at all the products. Let's do tiny circle today. <laughs> um, all right, so first up what we have are some uh, sentiment stamps. So we have thank you, thanks and thanks. We also have get well, get well and get well all in different scripts there, which I think are really nice. We also have some dies. We have hi, hey, hello and howdy, which I'm glad that they put this here because I can't always read these like hello hey hi I can read but this one would have taken me a few moments to really understand what this says and then last we have hello and there I really like this font here I think that's a really cool font um, for a, you know like a hello card I it's just really cool I don't know what it reminds me of yet I'm gonna think about it but it reminds me of some kind of TV show of something when I was younger all right, up next, we have a bunch of stuff that's related, I believe. And I just grouped them together because I think they would be good together. The first thing we have is a sentiment set. It's called Mama's Thoughts. And we have the only things easier to talk to than you are my plants. Thanks for the great memories. You are my own vintage mind. Sending you happy thoughts. Thanks for watering my plants. Um, good days gone, but not forgotten. So a lot of these, oh, and I love you guys. I love, love, love a vertical sentiment. This one says one day we will look back and laugh at today's problems, which is a good one. So I thought, you know, since that has a lot to do with plants, there's uh, several things here uh, in the release that have to deal with plants. So I thought that I would go ahead and share those all in kind of one group. So we have these adorable little potted plants and I'm dying right now. I love a miniature anything. And while these might be a little pain to color with Copic, color, Copic coloring, I cannot wait to get started to do it because these are so freaking cute. I cannot stop looking at them because they are so freaking cute. Oh, I love a miniature anything. All right, we have that. Then we have the Laring Flora Happy Fern Dye, which is really cool. I think this will be nice in several greens kind of maybe cut them up and you know layer them somehow i think that would be really cool we'll put this here we have a scene building falling brick die i think this is going to be really neat i already have an idea for a card that i want to make um using this and these guys it i can't wait to get started on that that's cool then we have the macrame pot and flora dies. This is really cool. This is like one of those things from like, I think these were really popular in the 70s, the macrame plant holders, but they are coming back because I did see them in a bunch of restaurants when I was in Mexico. And all, also, by the way, if you can't tell, 
I'm recovering from a sinus infection and a cold, so that's why I sound a little weird. But um, anyway, this is going to be fun and exciting to make as well, I think. And then last but not least, we have a stamp set called Field of Mushrooms. And it's just a bunch of different mushrooms and some uh, leaves and stems. I think that's really cool. This is a great background. I'm excited to make some things with this. All right, so this is kind of like all the plant related stuff. Oh, these things are so cute, can't wait. All right. Up next, we have a coffee cup die. So it's just a big coffee cup. This could also be a teacup. Um, really cool, you could cut these out and cut this out and then uh, do some ink blending on the flowers or make it any color that you want. I think this is really cool. Up next, we have Coffee Understands Again. Really cute um, image here of this girl holding a cup of coffee. And then there's some really good sentiments here. Coffee is my spirit animal. Coffee doesn't ask questions. Coffee just understands. A good cup of coffee shared with a very good friend is happiness, tasted, and time well spent except for in the morning. Need that coffee by myself. I, I can't be talking to anybody else until I have my first cup of coffee. I don't know what I would do without coffee, but I'm guessing five to 10. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And this also comes with coordinating dyes as well. Um, this is cute. I can't, I, I really like this too. Like the three layered coffee rings. That's cute, I like that. All right, and then up next we have these. These are kind of all related as well. We have layered fauna, playful fox dyes. So all different kinds of foxes here. They're layering dyes. Um, so you would just layer some paper and make yourself a little uh, fox. Um, no examples on here, but I'm sure there'll be some examples online on the website that you could check out how to put these together. We also have a scene building log die which is super cute. So you can put your little fox in a log. And then we also have the den dies, which you could put, you know, little fox in there too. Super cute. All right, we have a simple plaid stencil. I could totally see making this, um, of course, rainbow. And then just, um, Putting a sentiment on it, honestly. You could put one of those uh, hello uh, die sets on there. Hello there on top of this. And you got a card. It's amazing. And then we have Mama's Tchotchkes collection die set, which is really cool. There's like 1 million die in this, um, or 1 million pieces. But it's really cool on the back it shows you how you can like do up your little shelf and then you have like your plants here so like this guy here can go into the macrame thing um it's really cool you can just make a total card front in the front of this i think it would be really neat with the little dies here that say hello hi and hey it's your sentiment built into the shelf i think that's really neat and fun so can't wait to make a card with that All right, we have some more fabulous foiling toner card stock here. Now, it was requested last time for me to take out the papers and show them because I did not do it last time. So we're gonna do that and I freak, I don't even know if I could use these for toner paper, honestly, because um, like they're really cool on their own. <laughs> So this one's called the Hues of the Rainbow. And then this is what we have here. We have this guy. These are the same. This one's pretty cool, I like that. And then we have this one. Super cool cardstock. Um, like I said, I kind of don't even want to use these for toner. I just want to use them as a card base. But, We'll see how that goes. Um, I try to do, I'm, I'm trying to get into the foiling, guys. 
I'm trying to do it, you know, at, I have to wrap my brain around foiling, like when it comes to like adding them to the, uh, to these, um, cardstock toner things because you usually use these for leftovers and I have problems trying to determine if the leftover or you know the foil that's left over from doing your project if it's going to look right on something like this so I kind of have issues with that I think it's mainly because I don't want to waste uh, the card for it if it doesn't look right but you know I'm trying to embrace just experimenting and getting things done. So I'm working on it, you guys. All right, maybe I'll just put these away later so I don't have to make all that noise. All right, and then we have Cozy Rainbow Quilt. Ooh, look at that right there, yes. Ooh, I love that already. All right, this is Cozy Rainbow Quilt. Beautiful, I love that. Don't wanna use it for foiling. Ooh, pretty. Love it. And this one's really pretty. Oh, I, I almost wanna frame it and just put it in my room. <laughs> I love that. It's so pretty, I love it. All right, we'll put these guys away later so we don't have to hear all that noise. And then last but not least, we have some um, A2 size card fronts already cut for you with some um, card fronts here. Looks like, let's see what we have. We got three, four of these. Oh, these are the same. So four of each. <laughs> I'm like, what? So we got these guys, these guys, and these guys. Really cool. Excellent card fronts. They're so pretty. I love the colors. Beautiful. I wonder if this is a toner sheet too. That would be kind of cool if you could just use this and do like a full um, foil on the front. I might have to, I don't think it is. We might have to see though. All right, and then last but not least, we have some paper glaze, you guys. Love me some paper glaze. Let's see what we have here. All right, so I'll try to make this the best that I can. Maybe let me get a palette knife here so we can stir it up. So this one is called, this is Paper Glaze. It's a Lux and it's twinkly, Twinkle Lights Clear. There, it is a clear paste, but I don't know if I'll be able to pick this up on camera but there are there is some glitter in there I don't know if you can really pick it up on the camera though so I'm sorry about that but there is some glitter it looks very pretty it reminds me of a wedding and then we also have um, paper glaze Lux twinkle light silver maybe you can see this one better yeah I think you might be able to see this this is a silver. And I think you can see the glitter a little bit better than that. And then we have uh, Lux Twinkle Lights Gold. I think that one, you can probably see the gold in there a little better. Really cool. 
I could see this being used as sand, like on the card also. I don't know if, there we go. You can see the gold a little bit there. And then let me wipe this off because the next one we're going into a really different color. And this is uh, Paper Glaze Luxe, All of You. So cute, we love a pun. And this also, ooh, it's very smooth. This also just has a little bit of shimmer to it. I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up on camera, but that's really pretty. Love that. It's got like a gold um, shimmer to it. All right, guys, so that's the release from Picket Fence Studios. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. Uh, like I said in the beginning, leave a comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite product. And maybe if you, if you, the one you choose will be the one that I use to make my next video with. So also remember that everything down below will be linked so you can go to your shopping and let Picket Fence Studios know that I sent you over there and it is an affiliate link so i'll get a little commission at no cost to you thumbs up this video if you really liked it share it to someone if you think they would love it and then click that bell so that you know a new video is uh, coming out so until next time bromies i hope you have a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye